Hello wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as see the heart. In case you have not joined our social media handle, what are you waiting for? Then all they pay money to join. Uh, just click on the subscription button for me as we go. <laughs> I don't land again. I may be the master of Nyokopus where they enter everywhere. They see matters where we say they solve. <laughs> they don't shell out. Well, you know, say uh, the prime minister of the Biafra government in Ezra just declared another seven days sit at home. <laughs> and that may don't shell out. Everybody don't the wrong katakata. <laughs> uh, some people say nothing major, but something they make wow. They want to go now. So as I then you push, they see the things where we say they go on. They say Nigerian army, <laughs> the army general don't deploy army people where we say they go come for the southeast. <laughs> come the start the sit at home where we say they want hold on. Hmm. Eh, but with wisdom where we say to the Almighty can give me. I can't look into the matter. I don't know push and can't see. What is going to be the effect? Uh, what thing go happen? Where we say um Nigerian government don't be say they don't deploy uh, some people. Where we say they will come uh, stop the waiting they call and they sit at home. <laughs> this one means say uh, people no go come out to uh, because you know as these army people they behave. Some of them they behave like people will not come out for their head. <laughs> now be say make I advise you first if you they carry dread make you cook my baba mo or you wash and neat dress neat. If you they wear a get trouser for the youth, where we say on a day for Southeast, you don't shell it again, no, another matter, now they come. Before I go carry you, go for this news where I carry come. I want to tell you safety measures, where we say as you they work out, you go use them to protect yourself. Because now, as they don't deploy army, come for the South, you know, uh, <laughs> if I look at Southeast politicians and governors, I know that they lack wisdom. They lack understand the managerial wisdom, technical know-how. They lack it. Uh, this is going to actually cause more chaos than expected. I'm telling you, just go and mark what I'm telling you. Write it down somewhere. And, and you know, Chukwe Kabiyama has endowed people like us with wisdom to see what is going to happen ahead. Let me tell you, just pay attention. This army deployment to the southeastern part of Nigeria on the 31st of July to be able to curb the sit-at-home order that has been declared by Masi Simon Eba is going to do cost more harm than good. That's just it. Because now, for example, from like uh, what I was saying before, I was telling the youth, if you they carry dread, kukuma baba. If you they wear rugged jeans, kukuma keep them for now. <laughs> If you want come out, just dress gently. Be like gentle, Bobo. Dress good. They good as you they come out to. <laughs> now for your own good, I they tell you, make you no go carry your head, put for trouble. Where we say <laughs> you no go come out uh, because some of these army people we get there. Yes, they get something. Where did they take? They draw that up. Draw and finish. <laughs> they go see you. They go they see you like say you be arm rubber. <laughs> And if you can't carry dread, my brother and I bought you, they go use barbecue. So for the youth, we we'll say on a day for the southeastern part of Nigeria, please try and coordinate yourself. Uh, try and dress well. Try and be simple uh, so that someone, someone, if you're a student, dress like a student so that you can be quickly identified as a student so that someone will not inter misinterpret your appearance. And um, bam, one knock, our water give go, our water give granules. Oh, bro, my boy, how not wear granules? What I go now? So, considering this deployment of um, military personnel in the southeastern part of Nigeria to be able to cope this situation, that we that what is going to happen now is that many people are not going to come out because when they hear that soldiers are on the street, now we already have more soldier people on the street, and uh, what the southeast governors. And um, uh, the Southeast leaders, or whatever they call themselves, do not understand is that they are creating even more business avenue for these soldiers. If you have passed through um, Onicha or where the expressway, before you get from Imo State to Onicha, you will meet like four army checking points. And these four army checking points, they collect money from motorists, especially those of commercial buses. And you know how many commercial buses that ply that road every day? Now, they collect 100, 100 naira from them. If you are going, you pay 100 naira. 
if you are coming back, you pay 100 naira. The same way, thing with the big heavy duty lorries. Now you can check how much these people are making every day. And um, these people could also somehow cause chaos. Because, <laughs> oh, so ma'am, why? Where you are making your business, you're already there and you wouldn't want to go back if they, they brought you out of the barracks where you are not getting any money. And now, out of the barracks, you start making like 50000 every day. And after your boss must have collect, a uh, general must have collect, other top officers must have collect, every other person must have collect, and you, as maybe small soldier, you, you do get like 10k for your pocket every day. This is, you know, apart from your salary, I don't think that soldier will want to go back to the barracks again. They will do everything possible to remain in that position. So I think um, the Southeast um, governors, leaders, or whosoever they are, should tread with caution. And also know the implication of bringing out soldiers from the barrack on the street. The street is not meant for soldiers because this is not a battlefront. It's not a war front. And this is waiting. Um, the soldiers will be say the, the leaders will be said then therefore Southeast they have failed to understand. The people in the north, the advocates say the bandit will be said then therefore their place. Say they be normal human being. No. They say make government forgive them, sponsor them, send them to school, give them some money. Now waiting go meet the advocate. Oh. You see people where they protect their own children. Sunday go hold we own, do and finish. The Yoruba people protect them. <laughs> but Igbo people, now then they, they then they act like say, and now still yet in Lagos, there is peace in Lagos. Now Igbo people they carry their own for Lagos for head like head pan. Uh, they feel say now they know everything. What we say that they do because uh, they want to please the government, they want to please the president, and make the president feel say that they work. But now now they scatter on a state. Now now they scatter them. Because if everybody just go inside, sit at home, no trouble will come out. The person you are even fighting is not in Nigeria. The only way to sort it is to dialogue with the person that is actually declaring the sit at home. But the government of Nigeria is too proud. The southeastern governors are too proud. They say they don't negotiate with non-state actors and the rest of them. Meanwhile, the person's command and action ha is having a great effect in the state whereby you, you believe you have a jurisdiction. So why not come out with the issue of dialogue and dialogue with this person and see how best the matters can be solved. Meanwhile, uh, make I carry you go for that matter where beside Don Yoko push make you hear the full details uh, as the one carry soldier people enter for the southeastern part of Nigeria because of uh, the sit at home where we say Simon Eba, the prime minister of the Biafra government in exile, have declared from 31st of July to 14th of August. They said the chief of army staff, Major General Turid Ragbaja, has issued a directive to deploy troops to assert control over region where the indigenous people of Biafra impose sit at home order in the southeast states. Ragbaja's directive comes in response to an announcement made by Finland based pro Biafra agitator Simon Eber who ordered a two-week sit-at-home protest scheduled to commence on Monday, July 31st. Eba said, The protests aim to demand the immediate and unconditional release of the IPOB leader Mazen and the Kano was sacrosanct, nothing that the sit-at-home order was to facilitate the freedom of the Biafran nation, among other objectives. The pro-Biafra agitator, however, one that disobeying the sit-at-home order would have serious consequences. The Director of Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Onye Mamachuku, declared EPA's announcement unlawful. And stated that it would not be tolerated. Mamachuku said that the 82 division of the Nigeria Army operating in synergy with other security agencies to ensure robust patrol to dominate the flat flashpoint and in place measures to ensure citizens are free to go about their legitimate businesses. The Army spokesperson, however, called upon Nigerians in the Southeast region 
to disregard the sit at home order and encourage them to support the security forces in their efforts to counter IPOB. We implore the good and enterprising people of the Southeast to shun all forms of cajoling or threat aimed at unlawful compelling them to be relaxive by sitting at home. We urge them to join forces with the security operative to resist this illegality perpetrated by IPOB. Similarly, the police have vowed to resist sit-at-home order in any part of the Southeast. He noted that Eba, who claims leadership of IPOB, resides in Finland and issues command from there while expecting people in Nigeria to comply with his orders, which the army find unacceptable. Similarly, the Nigeria police force have vowed to resist the sit-at-home order in any part of the Southeast. The first spokesperson, Muyua Adejobi, confirmed that the police have taken action against non state actors enforcing the order, resulting in arrests and the confiscation of weapons. Adejobi assured Southeast citizens that adequate security measures had been put in place to protect them and urge them to continue with their lawful activities. Also, Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State sought support for the abolition of the sit-at-home order during his visit to the Nigerian Navy headquarters in Abuja. Governor Mba previously declared the sit-at-home order banned in Enugu, citing its negative impact on the state's economy despite declaration. The order has remained in effect on Mondays. The governor emphasized that attracting investors to the state would be difficult if the current state of affairs continue. My people, when I don't see, I see the sub, uh, we'll be saying that the matter will be say in concern uh, the seat at home that is currently um, ongoing in Obodo, um, Biafra. Uh, if this is your time, first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, You'll be the first to take it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.